the morning of day three brings another sunrise some days here All right, everybody. Good day, morning. Good morning. Day three on our quest to bring back, as of now, Lauren Grace, our 42-foot uh, Jefferson 1987 model. Uh, as most of you know, if you've been following along, we left from Barber Marina in um, around Orange, Orange Beach, Alabama, and came across the ICW, across Mobile Bay. Uh, through Biloxi, Pascagoula, basically took the ICW all the way over to the Wrigley's in, uh, by Slidell and came into Lake Pontchartrain. Now we're on uh, Lake uh, Pontchartrain. We went into Madisonville last night. Of course, it was uh, real busy, so we came out and just anchored out last night. They were partying. Yeah, there was a lot of partying going on in there. Uh, the channel going up the Chifuncta River is really narrow and really shallow. We hit uh, uh, four foot uh, uh, water, so you got to stay in the channel when you go there. Don't take shortcuts if you got a bigger boat. Very important. Uh, last night, cooked a little sausage, had a few sundowners. Hopefully, you saw the. Uh, pictures of a pretty sunset now we got a nice sunrise behind us uh, so yeah so we are headed for day three we are going home to our, our slip this morning we're going to go through what they call the south pass and the north pass through jones island uh, it's a real shallow pass and it could get down to three feet I'm gonna check the tides here before too long and see where we're at but that's where we're going we're gonna go into Lake Morpaw Lake Morpaw uh, Louisiana and then we are gonna go up the Chickfaw River Chickfaw River and the Blood River is uh, where we're gonna be staying at Tell them about the ugly last night. Yeah, and then last the... night we were sleeping and woke up about 2.30. The generator decides to stop. Yep. Uh, don't so know why. So things happen. So luckily the aft cab that we had sealed up with just the air conditioner running back there last night. It was no big deal. I went to try to restart it. It restarted but didn't want to act right, so I just left it off. Went back to bed. Uh, shut everything down this morning. Uh, shut all the electrical panels off. Restarted it and it ran fine so I don't know if maybe some uh, it's gonna be hard for you to see but like right there in front of you there's a bunch of uh, marsh grass seaweed if you call it floating all over <clears throat> maybe that happened to got into one of the intakes but anyway but it's we're going not all pretty and we're going nine miles places. an hour we're gonna be probably dodging crab pots again uh, engines are running fine so just like uh, we're gonna talk about here in the future you're gonna have problems with the boat you just got to overcome it and make the best of what you got and fix what you got it's a boat right. it's gonna break you're gonna have issues you just need to boat learn life. to deal with it yep <laughs> boat life but anyway let's go we're going that way which is almost west We'll check back with you in a little while, huh? Yep. So, just remember, some days here. And by the show way. Them the uh, sunset. Yep. I mean, sunrise. I already did. Right. You want me to show them again? Look how pretty. Sunrise over Lake Pontchartrain. Some days here, and all you got to do is stop the madness. Start the adventure. Here we go. 
All right, continuing on with the journey on day three, we are in uh, North Pass. This is the uh, pass between Lake Pontchartrain and Lake Morpaw here in southern Louisiana. As you can see, a lot of fishing camps on the side of the pass. We are right now at 24 feet of water, so it's plenty deep through the pass here. We're going to be coming up on Interstate 55, that railroad bridge, which stays open most of the time. And uh, we should be able to go under the super bridge at uh, Interstate 55. There's a restaurant right there called Manchac. Real popular in the uh, area for catfish and seafood. So if you ever get this way, they also have a dock there. We don't know the depth up there but they have a dock for boats and stuff so anyway a little update uh, here's what the uh, GPS shows we're doing a little over seven miles an hour autopilot seems to be working really good we got two depth gauges we got one there an international offshore and then we've got the uh, Hawkeye. So, so far, so good. Manchac Bridge. We made it. Everybody, where you are in Lake Morpaw made it by one minute on the uh, railroad bridge. It's going to be closing, and we made it underneath the uh, I 55 bridge. Whoo! Just in time. Woohoo! All right, here we are. The entrance to the Tickfaw River off of Lake Morpaw, day three. You can see we're right here. We're going to go up there and turn, go up the river to our slip. Hopefully, the water's high enough. We don't have any issues and should be after Harvey. So, we'll see what happens. But uh, about another hour, and hopefully, we'll be in the slip. Hope everything works out okay. Are you excited, Kim? Yep, I'm just hoping we're not going to be the show. That's right. You want to watch the show and not be the show, huh, That's babe? right. All right. Let's see if we can ease up there. There you go again. I don't know if you can see it right yeah. there. Crab pot. Is it? You got to watch all that stuff. They're all over the place. Right now we're in 11 feet of water. We went to 14, so that's good. Looks like, look like a stump. So, so now we're going to have to watch for trees and all kinds of stuff coming down the river so anyway stand by all right we're about an hour away from our slip this is some of the homes on the Tickfaw River that people come vacation on or live full-time beautiful river Louisiana's got some beautiful swamps Just a beautiful place. Sportsman's paradise, Louisiana is. All right, there we are. Blood River, mile marker zero. Just coming in. This is a split. Tickfaw goes off over that way, and the Blood River goes up here. We're going to go up here for a while. All right, here we are at the marina. So far, so good. It's been a great adventure so far. Now if we can get it in the slip. <laughs> Kim and Princess, so far, so good. We made it, 16 feet of water. But it's been a great adventure bringing 
our new to us boat home. 